you're like obsessed with being some kind of perfect mother. This is like taking over our life. Yes, well, that's what babies do, Stuart. They take over your lives and your closets and your home and Absolutely everything. Absolutely not. No, it's not that complicated. You feed them, you change them. You it's a full-blown FBI crossover tonight as the worlds of FBI and FBI Most Wanted meet in a special episode that features John Boyd, who, of course, joins me now. Hey, John. Hey, how are you? I'm doing great. Okay, so I feel like the fans have been waiting for Scola and Nini, uh, Nina and their baby. We're, we're, we're finally seeing, uh, you know, what parenthood looks like. So how excited are you for this episode? Oh, it's great. It's so fun to play. It's been a, it was a great episode to shoot. Uh, it's a really, really exciting episode I'm almost wanted. Chantel's just doing a wonderful job. Um, she's at set right now shooting, or she'd be here with us. But she... Um, it's a great it's just a great episode. We get to see kind of behind the curtain into two FBI agents navigating parenthood and conflict and people are late for work and people are struggling to find <laughs> themselves as a mom and it's a it's a great one to do. It's 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 really going to be fun. I feel like the fans have seen this relationship between Scola and Nina at different times. They're on, they're off, and now they have a baby. How would you describe their dynamic? I think their dynamic is is one that's something that develops from two people navigating the risk involved with this job. I think that they are who they are because they, they're they together because of the way that they're able to understand one another, but they're also together because of the conflict and how they challenge each other and how they hold each other accountable. Their relationship has always been a little bit the way, the way they butt heads, you know, and they have to understand that, you know, there's more than just them now and more than just the case. There's, you know, there's a child that they brought into the world and they have to choose and figure out what to do. Yeah. You're crossing over from FBI into the FBI most wanted world tonight. So how fun is it having all these different worlds uh, kind of explored together? Because I know the fans love it. Oh, it's my favorite thing. It's, it's just so fun for our fans to get to do this, you know, that between you know eight and eleven at night or you know tuesday nights between those hours whatever anything anything can happen anybody can show up on anybody's show it's such yeah. a fun thing to get to do and i just love coming over to to most wanted it's such an interesting uh, show yeah okay well in light of this full-blown crossover john we want to play a little game with you we want your opinions okay. on some crossovers that we've already seen in a little game we like to call TMS Crossovers Approved with a question mark because we want your opinion to see if these crossovers have worked or not. So first up, we have the most current one, Beyonce. She's crossed over into the country genre with her new album, Cowboy Carter. What do you think about country and Beyonce? I, I'm all for it. Absolutely. Good for you. Go get it. Uh, love the music. Good for her. Her version of Jolene is really, really good. It's uh, I was I was really impressed. Yeah, she sings uh, Jolene. Yeah, amazing song. I know it's a classic. Okay, so next up we have Beyonce's former Destiny's Child member Kelly Rowland. She starred in the 2003 film Freddy vs. Jason, where we saw horror icons Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees finally meet up. Did we like this? This meetup, or was it too many horror, too much horror? <laughs> lot, lot of horror for me. I'm, I'm a classic horror, horror movie. Just the classics. I put them on. I don't, I don't need all that. <laughs> just keeping it simple. I like my horror old school. Got you. So too, too much, uh, too much icon and too much horror. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. And finally, we have Avengers Endgame, when the likes of uh, Iron Man, Hulk, Black Panther. Ant-Man, they all fought side by side. It was so emotional. There was a lot going on, a lot of big personalities. What'd you think? I loved it, all for it. I, well, that stuff wasn't around when I was a kid. Maybe we got to see, you know, a couple superheroes hang out, maybe once in a while. So I'm I'm all for it. I, had a, it, I thought it was wonderful. Yeah. That's amazing. Well, congratulations on all the success that you've had with the with FBI and, and now with this special episode of FBI Most Wanted airing tonight at 10 p.m. on Global and Stack TV. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me.